over a hundred years, the movies have been America's art form of choice. They've made us laugh, they've made us cry, and every once in a while, they've made us think a little bit about the world we live in. And with all due respect to Kubrick and Kurosawa and Scorsese, one film has been overlooked. One film which changed the course of an entire generation and their view of the world. And of course, I am talking about Transformers the movie. Yeah! And like all great films, Transformers came at a time when we least expected it. Because millions of boys and girls growing up only knew one kind of leadership, one kind of philosophy, one kind of vision. <laughs> this dude. Where Jaguars and gold watches were the symbols of success, and acquisition was the highest ideal. You think that trickled down to kids? Of course it did! Because we wanted toys! <laughs> Cartoons brought us to buy toys! Serials sold us toys! Even Transformers the movie sold us toys! But it also told us there was more than the toys in this world. And frankly, we were sheltered. We only saw the cute, little, happy, adorable cartoons our parents wanted us to see. We didn't know Vietnam, we didn't know racism, we didn't know hate at all. And when we saw the rock and roll orgasm that was Transformers the movie, <laughs> it blew our little minds! And that's just in time because we were ready to enter a world where there was hate and there was loss and grief and death. And you know what? Even once in a while, a swear word. <laughs> but it also taught us to cope with those things. It taught us that we could continue to be in this world and make it a better place. You want examples? I will give you some examples. Let's look at the noble Autobots. Not exactly an 80s ideal. They were practically communists. <laughs> Working together towards a common goal. No intrinsic reward. They were very much the children that we were in America then. But when they faced their own darkest hour, and they lost their heroes, they came together. It was their resolve and their cooperation towards a common goal that made the Autobots defeat all their goals. And yes, Optimus, or Ultra Magnus, was not the leader they needed him to be. But with his respect, they beat even the Sharktacons. And those were robots that turned into sharks! Yeah! And what about their adversaries? What about the Decepticons? The Decepticons were superior in every way. Stronger, faster, more multiple, and they could turn into guns. <laughs> so why didn't the Decepticons win the day? Greed, jealousy, really all the worst parts of Dante. <laughs> and they were the adult world of America. When they lost their direction, when they lost their leaders, they turned on each other. It was a power grab, a struggle. And ultimately, it wasn't the Autobots who defeated the Decepticons, it was the Decepticons who defeated themselves. Yes. And let's not forget that the grief didn't end there, because the grief was with us, the children of America. In 1986, child psychiatrists saw a huge spike in people who couldn't deal with the loss of a cartoon hero. How ill-prepared were we to deal with real loss? But the film gave us that in the form of a pink robot named R.C. <laughs> Who is R.C.? This is a movie to sell boys to toys, and this was a girl for which there was no toy. <laughs> but it wasn't the first girl we had seen. We knew She-Ra. We knew Scarlet and Lady J and Geraldine Ferraro. <laughs> but this was different. Because R.C. was always there. Every scene she was in that movie, she was with Daniel the boy and with us an audience, telling us it would be okay, nurturing us, telling us that in the world of hate, she would be there. And we learned that maybe the one who kicks the most butt is not the hero we should look for. Maybe the heroes we should look for in this life are the ones who are there for us, the ones who nurture us, the ones who grip us. So 20 years later, we are those Autobots. We have looked into the darkness and lit our own darkest hour. We have faced our own Sharktacons. And I want each and every one of you to continue with that spirit of friendship. Bow, we, bra, now, we, mini, bow. And you have a touch. You have.